Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm your host, Alfredo Hammerdown Manning, and this is my channel, Cooking in the Hammer Life. You know, in the midst of the winter months, especially if you travel in the Midwest, Northeast, or the West Coast, or the Northwest, it's just a matter of time before you come up on a weather event. Freezing cold, things like that, that, you know, you just can't control. But what you can control is how you prepare for it. And these are some of the things that I recommend that every truck driver should have uh, just to make sure you're safe and you're prepared in these winter months. First off, let's talk about it. Snow chains. Now, if you travel in, in the top 80 going from the east to west coast, uh, I say pretty much anything further than uh, Minnesota, uh, Colorado, and things like that, you should have snow chains. Now, snow chains, um, if you're not experienced in putting them on, I would recommend that you YouTube putting them on and things like that. But if you travel in most of them states, uh, west of uh, Montana or west of Minnesota, you should have snow chains. And you can also can Google um, snow chain requirements by state. And that, that is your responsibility as a truck driver to know if some snow chains is required and needed. One of the things I do recommend other than snow stand chains is if you need to keep traction, one thing that helped me in the, in the past that I know that can help you keep traction is kitty litter. Kitty litter and salt, um, you can apply this under your tires um, in, in icy conditions if you ever get stuck and it will help you regain traction. And I think this is a must have, uh, either this or salt, and it would help you out a lot. You can get these at Walmart, uh, different brands. I got the nine cent, it's pretty much the higher brand, but there are more cheaper brands than this. You can get this and it'll help you. You also should have booster cables. Booster cables, you should have this because, you know, sometimes, you know, you can have battery failure in cold winter months. So that's that you have booster cables or jumper cables that will help you in your time of need. Another thing I recommend is this. You can get this at the Pilot or the Loves. It's a scraper. You can use it for your windshield, your steps, and things like that. Get all the snow off of it. It's pretty cheap, inexpensive. You can get this at a Loves or pretty much any uh, truck stop. I also recommend that you probably get a, a shovel. This is a pretty much a little portable shovel that I got in case I get in situations where I have to dig out ice or something like this. And you know, it's pretty compact in size. Uh, you can get this at Walmart also in the camping uh, section. And uh, it actually works wonders. Another thing you wanna have is air brake conditioner. Uh, most of the time, when you're in freezing temperatures, uh, your air, air brakes can, uh, your trailer brakes can lock up. This can be applied in your trailer side of your airline, um, the red side, and pretty much it will help you um, unlock your trailer brakes. And um, it works wonders. I've never had to use it, uh, but I've heard it works wonders. And if you don't know how to use it, you can always always Google it and YouTube it, and they'll show you how to use it. One thing, another another thing that I recommend that you have is if you're gonna be in cold weather, uh, some some tire chocks um, that you can put on your tire. You can release your um, trailer brake um, and have your tractor uh, brakes uh, engaged, and that will help you out a lot. I wouldn't recommend it on like a you know a hilled surface. Uh, but uh, some people do that uh, so I always keep me some uh, tire chocks and you know that'll help you in a way too <clears throat> let's talk about your wiper windshield washer fluid this one I got here uh, it goes down to zero Fahrenheit um, they have another one that goes I think in the negatives uh, I, I think if you have another windshield wiper uh, fluid in your truck, uh, I, 
if it's not off season, I would go and check. And I'll probably deplete that and put this in here uh, because one time uh, I was in the Midwest and it started snowing and you know it was pretty much freezing and icing and, uh, and I couldn't do too much about it because I had the all not the all season I had the regular windshield wiper fluid another thing you can get is a de-icer they sell it it's in a can uh, you can spray it on your windshield and it will help um, break that stuff up you know uh, and it, it help prevent icing on your windshield and it works wonders um, another thing that is a must-have in the cold winter months is diesel treatment one of the things that people don't understand that when you get in the freezing temperatures that your diesel diesel can gel this diesel treatment works wonders uh, I think you're supposed to put this in about one of these every hundred gallons um, pretty much it works pretty good no this one says 320 gallons so you can use this on uh, both of your tanks and uh, measure it for 320 gallons and it'll keep your fuel from gelling and it works wonders uh, one of these costs about $24 uh, but you, this is a must have in the winter so now we talked about most of the things that you have for your the outside of your truck to make sure you're you're running uh, let's talk about a couple more of the emergency items that you should have inside of your truck for the inside of your truck and, and in case you you know you have you know, loss of power and things like that um, but always keep flashlights uh, I got a couple flashlights that I keep I keep a, a spare in case I run out um, you know it work helps you in case uh, you're in a dark situation and you can't really see around uh, the flashlights will help a lot um, <clears throat> one thing I recommend too is uh, they have this pen at uh, I think I got this at Love's it's called a tack pen and this pen actually works well um, it's actually a, a flashlight and um, it's a Phillips screwdriver it's a screwdriver it has a screwdriver attachment to it like a mini tool you screw that out if you ever get in a situation and you, and you you know you need to break the window it has a little tool to break the window you hit it a window that breaks the window um, I think that's a must-have in case you're in emergency and it also has a case you know you somewhere someone they can't see you uh, you need to be visible in some way or to be heard in some way it's a whistle so this is a help out a lot uh, I think this is a must-have I think I paid about 10 bucks about 10 or 12 bucks for this but it's a worth it um, another thing you should have in case you lose power is a, a, a charging source I got this from loves also and uh, you can charge your iPhone Android things like that if you you know if you don't have any power in your truck you can actually have this make sure this is charged so you should always charge it and make sure it's charged in case of emergency and you can use this um, they have them you can order some on Amazon I got this from loves and uh, it works pretty good now in case you're in a situation you don't have fire I recommend that you have matches um, in case you got a create create a fire uh, matches is very important I actually got this little torch um, and, and you know in case I got to create a fire for some reason um, so let's talk about now your clothing you know sometimes in the winter months it's freezing rain it's cold it's snowing so I recommend that everyone has a pair of waterproof boots uh, these waterproof boots I got from Walmart um, I used to buy spend two hundred and twenty dollars on boots but these boots cost about seventy eighty dollars uh, this brand is a survivor brand from Walmart uh, reason why I know it's a good brand don't don't this you know discredit because from Walmart because I used to buy two hundred fifty dollars uh, boots when I was in the oil field but I bought one of these pair of boots because one of my boots uh, I had an issue with it and I had to buy you know a spare pair of boots and those boots actually last me two years in the oil field so you know these boots are very durable uh, they're waterproof they're slip resistant and you know slip resistant and you know they'll help you out a lot you want to have clothing that you know pretty much that you can stay warm I recommend that you have some long johns couple pair 
at least one pair of long johns. They also have these reflector vests that are insulated also that you can buy for the winter. You know, I had this for a few years. You want something for your head? I keep mostly baseball caps, but they have this neck warmer you can put on your neck, keep your neck warmed, uh, warm, it, it does good. You want a pair of winter gloves? Keep you a pair of winter gloves, keep your hands warm in case of emergency. I have a, a couple of coats. I have this vest, uh, you know, a pretty much a, a vest with feathers in it. Uh, it's pretty warm. I have a jacket um, with feathers in it. It's pretty warm. And I also have this big jacket I, I kept from the oil field. Um, and it's, you know, I used to work out in the oil field for, you know, 12, 14 hours a day, you know, 20 degrees. So uh, this works really well. Uh, and another thing I say get is this also goes with it, but it's a, like an overall. And you can get something similar, like, similar, insulated overall. You can get something similar like this at Walmart, uh, uh, insulated overall. Uh, I think, you know, you should have this uh, just in case, um, you know, you have to be outside for periods of time. Um, and in case, you know, it's cold, freezing rain, I recommend that you get a, you know, a rain suit. This rain suit I got from, um, I think I got this from Harbor Freight, um, but it cost me about a hundred dollars a piece. Uh, it's very durable, um, but I had this for a while, um, and it's done well for me. I also have some waterproof boots that I keep uh, all times. And just in case it's freezing rain and uh, I, I don't get wet um, so a lot of these things help me and I, I, I make sure that I have these things and one thing I that every truck should have no matter if it's the winter or not I recommend that everyone has a first aid kit you can buy these for first aid kits at loves you know pretty much uh, TAs and truck stops this is a must buy year-round that I feel that you should have in your truck in case you know you have a puncture you slip and fall it has you know the neosporin and all the antibiotics things in here that you need uh, for your skin uh, but I recommend that this is a must-have now that we talked about all that let's talk about the things that you should have in case say for instance I seen just a couple weeks ago uh, they had a snowstorm up north and a young lady was in her car for a couple of days uh, and she you know pretty much froze to death and you know sometimes you got to be prepared you know in case you need to have something in your truck to eat uh, in case you can't get to other places to get some eat get something to eat uh, you should have non-perishable food items and the things that work for me I think it's always good to get something like tuna fish um, you also can get these things in these it's non-perishable it's pretty much can be a snack it's semi-healthy you don't have you know it has sodium in it but it's not too bad you can use that um, you also can get, get you some crackers or something to make you tune in crackers and things like that um, I also get these little to go lunchable things uh, tuna packs it has the crackers and all the everything all in it in one um, the container that works uh, I get got this turkey spam um, just in case I don't eat it really but just in case um, I need it uh, I got this turkey spam and just in case of emergency um, also sardines work well um, you know pretty much you know they're just non-perishable I mean of course if you're hungry you're gonna eat pretty much whatever you can get your hands on uh, they also have this these little uh, tuna bowls at Walmart all this stuff I got from Walmart I keep it in my truck at all times and actually if you really eat this stuff most of the time it'll save you tons of money um, got these big natural bars uh, mine's is gluten-free but I got a couple boxes of these just in case of emergency uh, they will help you out a lot uh, and one thing that I feel that you can't lose with is peanut butter peanut butter I got a jelly up there 
peanut butter uh, and jelly sandwich. It, this just this alone, I think you can live off a couple of days, right? <laughs> but um, it always, always keep you water. I keep about a case just for emergency. I have some in my refrigerator, but I always keep a case just for emergency. As you can see, this is kind of chilly, so it was in my refrigerator, but I got a case right there that I keep in my truck for emergencies at all times. Well, these are just some of the things I use and keep in my truck uh, to help you in some way. Until next time, keep on trucking.